Welcome to MooMoo Math and a flowchart to help with addition and subtraction of integers. This flowchart will help by asking a couple of simple yes no questions and remembering a couple of simple rules. Let's get started. The first question you ask is is the problem addition? Yes or no? If you answer yes then you ask are the signs the same? Yes or no? If you answer yes to that the signs are the same, add the numbers and keep the sign of the two numbers. If you answer no to are the signs the same, subtract the smaller number from the larger number and keep the sign of the larger number. If you answer is the problem addition no, change the subtraction sign to addition and change the sign of the first number after the subtraction sign and then follow the addition rules. Let's work a couple example problems so we can see how the flow chart works in adding and subtracting. Okay, let's go ahead and apply the flow chart to adding and subtracting integers that are positive and negative. Question one, is the problem addition? Yes or no? Yes, it is addition. So next we will ask, are the signs the same? Yes. Then all we do is we add the two numbers together. Okay, eight plus five is equal to 13, and then use the sign of the two numbers. So it will become negative 13. Let's apply the flow chart to another question. 13 plus negative 9. Is the problem addition? Yes. Are the signs the same? No. Then you just subtract the smaller number from the larger number. And 13 minus 9 is 4. And then take the sign of the larger number, which is 13, so it will become positive 4. Okay, let's apply the flow chart again. Is the problem addition? Yes. Are the signs the same? Yes. Just add the two numbers together. 16 plus 4 is 20. And then take the sign of the two numbers, which is negative 20. As you can see, it takes a lot of the guesswork out, and um, I find it very easy, and it cuts down on mistakes. Now let's look at this one. Is the problem addition? No. Then what I will do is I will change the sign of subtraction to addition and then change the sign of the number directly behind the subtraction. So it becomes negative 7. Now, is the problem addition? Yes. Are the signs the same? Yes. So I just add 5 plus 7, which is equal to, what is that, 12. Seven, eight, nine, okay. And then take the sign of the two numbers, which is negative so it becomes negative 12 okay next up is negative 6 minus 12 is the problem addition no so I will need to change the sign so it will become negative 6 plus change the sign of the number directly behind it minus 12 is the problem addition yes are the signs the same? Yes. So just add the numbers. 6 plus 12 is 18. And then use the sign of the two numbers. And last but not least, negative 15 plus 8. Is it addition? Yes. Are the signs the same? No. So I will subtract the small number from the large number, 15 Minus 8 is 7, and then take the sign of the larger number. 15 is larger than 8, so it will be negative 7. I hope the flow chart helps in solving addition and subtraction problems. Thanks for watching. Moomoo Math uploads a new math video every day. Please subscribe and share.